I'm presenting about vlogging, so I've gone with Who Let the Vlogs Out. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, when I started uh, PhD back in September, I started doing these vlogs, which I've put four of up online now, and they are sort of the, the experience of the PhD as I go through. I'm not kind of pretending to have any great authority about what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be a bit more of uh, a living journal of the mistakes I'm making as I go along, the rest of that. Um, so there's a lot of silly tub titles and that kind of thing. I generally try to make them quite jocular. What I'm going to talk about here is just um, why I started, some of the responses I've had, and the conclusions or ideas I'm getting about so far. So I worked for the School of Advanced Study last year at the University of London in between my master and my PhD, and I was working with digital resources there. And something I kind of found when I was working with the videos that they put online was it's quite top down. It's obviously no bad thing that they're putting up advice from academics to postgraduates, but I think that was when the CD idea kind of started. It would be good to have stuff from postgraduates, so you know, someone who was in what my position then was as a PhD applicant could see what people going through their first year kind of thought about it all. And then I did a bit of filming kind of by accident um, when someone. I did a seminar and the camera person didn't turn up. I had my tablet with me, and so I was like, well, I, I could do it. <laughs> and, and it was just sort of, you know, it's, it's very easy, the kind of technology is available to it now. I was doing a lot of subtitling as well, and so thinking more than I might like to about uh, the process of making those videos. And also, I uh, was involved with um, a fringe show, which uh, my girlfriend over here, Roshi, choreographed and directed. And I was one of the producers behind that, and that involved doing a crowdfunding campaign. So we did some videos for that. I did some behind the scenes filming, again, just getting used to talking on camera, getting used to looking at my phone and saying words into it. So, started the PhD, started doing some vlogs, and um, decided that I was going to like hand draw these little title slides for them, and that's the most enjoyable part, and also takes up by far the most time out of any aspect of it all. Um, so I'm going to process a little bit here, and my slides are too wordy anyway, but this one's way too wordy, so all I'll say is that I'll talk more about this if anybody would like me to. But the point here really is that um, most of us are probably lucky enough to have a tablet, a phone, a laptop, or something with a camera and computing power in it. And if you've got that, you can get everything else you need for free. So um, open access or open source software and all that kind of thing. So I've done four videos so far. Um, one on applications is the one I'm going to talk most about here, because that's had the most responses. And we're going to go on and talk about some of the responses I've had just a little bit. Um, so one thing that I've had is I've had some comments on YouTube videos from other people who are doing PhDs elsewhere in the world in different disciplines. So that's one advantage of it, I suppose, is that you kind of enter into that little online community. This guy here is doing a PhD in Adelaide, no, uh, in Canberra, in anthropology. And I've been you know, speaking to him a bit about putting videos together. I've had um, <coughs> other people I know from the real world, these are people from my masters or uh, undergrad, um, who are thinking about doing PhDs, who've You've seen that I'm doing this, and that's obviously made them feel they can approach me for a bit more explication to tell me how inspiring I am. <laughs> but that kind of thing. And then I've had these responses from elsewhere. And um, so one of the most uh, the things that makes me feel like it maybe has been quite useful me doing this is I've had some good uh, conversations with people just wanting to know a bit more about the process of applications on that video in particular who are currently doing the masters. But then, one of these was a bit odd. Uh, I got this request from someone in Indonesia who had a mere year and a half of their undergrad degree left and wanted to know if it was too late to apply for a master's. Um, and so I said, okay, you know, I'll give you some information and stuff. This is my website, my email address is on there. Got a Facebook message. Hi, Brother Aaron. <laughs> uh, I said I'd rather not talk on Facebook. You can't find the email. He replied on Facebook saying, Hello, Brother. Uh, I replied by email and eventually provoked him into an email conversation. And then. Wait. So it's one of the things about putting yourself out there is you get some odd responses. And I thought that conversation was kind of concluded, but then I got an email, a Facebook message rather, not from uh, this particular dude, but from 
one of his classmates to whom he has picked me out for their linguistics homework. <laughs> Which is a different discipline. I was very polite in my response to uh, Harlina here. I said, I'm afraid your friend was misinformed about what kind of service I am. <laughs> um, I will not be helping you with your linguistics homework. But, uh, like, okay, that's the silliest aspect of it so far. But also, it can seem a bit pointless putting, like, quite a lot of time and effort into what's basically some stupid subtitles and a hand-drawn intro sequence. But then, um, despite the older communications, despite the fact that I'm, you know, basically putting together something so that family and friends can say, oh, well done, you did a vlog, it's, it does feel quite worthwhile. Um, you could be quite cynical about it as being the sort of, like, public outreach exercise that some people were mentioning earlier tonight, but I also think it's kind of worth asking, why are strangers on the internet writing to me after they've just seen my face making some dumb gags and saying, I'm doing a PhD. And maybe it seems a bit friendlier, maybe I'm more approachable than an institution. But they are writing to a stranger on the internet and not to the institution. So maybe that information isn't being circulated that well about the experience of what a PhD is. That's something I feel confused about. And um, for applications in particular, I think I have been able to help some people who've reached out to me a bit about putting an application together because God knows I put myself through the ringer about that. So it's handy if I can be a little bit useful to others like that as well. So, as a conclusion, I'd just recommend a little creative project that slots in with your PhD work. Uh, so far, in my first year of doing all of this, seems like a quite worthwhile thing to have done. And I think my presentation is now running on repeat, so I'm just going to say every single word that I've already said. Um, until, I don't know, there's a PowerPoint.